five, four, three, two. Dear viewers, welcome you all to our show, OSA, that is Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, today is the last program of 2021. And that was the crucial year for all of us. And I hope we are getting a fantastic year of 2022. Dear viewers, today our topic is Charcot Arthropathy of Ankle and Food by Elizarov. And the speaker is the one and only, the legendary Elizabeth Surgeon of Bangladesh, Professor Mofakarul Barisar. I would like to request Professor Mofakarul Barisar to join with us. Good afternoon and Happy New Year for next year. Thank you Good so afternoon, much. Sir. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon. Thank you, sir. Dear viewers, we have uh, two learned academic experts with us. Uh, one is the highly academician, Professor Navikov, sir, from Kurgan, Russia. I would like to request Professor Navikov, sir, to join with us. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Good afternoon. Yeah, happy New Year, sir. With uh, New Year. Thank you very happy much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. Small dear viewers, we have, yes. Uh, we have another learned. Uh, academic expert from India, that is Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir. And I think uh, uh, he will be connected with us in the coming part of our program. And we have another academic expert from uh, Iraq, uh, that is Omar, sir. I would like to request to Omar, sir, to join with us. Thank you so much. Happy New Year for all of you. I'm very glad to join to this activity. You're welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Uh, Dear viewers, you all know that the charcot arthropathy is a very critical thing for all the orthopedic surgeon. But we can manage it by Elizabeth. How? And that will be discussed today by our honorable speaker, Professor Mafakarul Barisar. I would like to request Professor Mafakarul Barisar to share his screen and start his magnificent presentation. Sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tanvir. And uh, today, my dear Omar Warabi from Kurdistan, professor, is a very good Elizar surgeon. And of course, my good, good friend, Professor Novika for Kurgan Center and Shamsuruda from India. And we are going to finish our this year 2021 program. And hopefully coming next year, inshallah, will be good for all of us. And with these few words, Happy New Year to you all. I would like to start my talk. And you know, uh, Charcot Arthropathy of Ankle and Foot by Elizarov Technique, how we are treating this. This is my uh, all slides all the time I am showing you the places that I have taken my training. This is my three cities I would like to show, Kurgan, Tashkent, and Kiev. This is the, you know, the middle one. You can see the RIC, RTO, orthopedic capital, now the winter season. And this is our National Institute, and uh, which is in our capital, Dhaka. And this is at present my, I am working with the diabetic patients. That's why I've taken this topic so that I can show you my experience, what we are doing in the diabetic hospital with the diabetic patients and of the charcoal, ankle and food. This is a crucial and very important topic for the orthopedic surgeon. This is my center where I'm doing all the time and fighting with the Lizar of apparatus and for am always man meat method and magician so learning Elizabeth is like learning a language we must know the alphabets first grammar 
and to improve our vocabulary and we shall have to use it. Nobody can teach you how to write a short story, a novel or a poem. We must know the biomechanics of the Elizaro ring fixator. And at the same time, when you are going to apply the Lizarov, you must know the safe corridor. And of course, so we are we are facing network problems, sir. Uh, you have you have hanged, sir. So, sir, can you hear me, sir, Professor Baris, sir? Uh, dear viewers, uh, we think uh, we have a network problem there and I hope uh, Professor Barisa will connect within a few seconds with us. Lost you? Okay, okay, I'm coming again. Yeah, so it's yeah. okay, sir. It's okay now, sir. Okay, now you can see. Okay, okay, sir. okay. So, uh, whenever you are facing any problem, you just let me know. Yes, sir. So, uh, learning Elizara is like learning a language. Teach alphabets, grammar, improve your vocabulary, and use it. Nobody can teach you how to write a short story, a novel or a poem. And we must know the biomechanics of the Elizar of Ring Fixator. And we shall have to know the safe corridor and of course the biology. This is the very important for Elizar of Surgeons. In 1883, Dean Martin Charcot first described the Charcot neuroarthropathy. And after that, William Rayleigh Jordan in 1936, described the relations of charcoal with diabetes mellitus. Charcoal neuroarthropathy, we can put the diagnosis of these disease clinically when we can see the loss of normal food sensation. This is very important. And at the same time, the ulceration with food deformity. And what are the factors related with this? Autonomic neuropathy. OCS malignant, repetitive trauma, metabolic abnormalities you will find. And of course, this is related with the renal disease and related with the osteoporosis and glycosylation of bone proteins and collagen. There are two theories that cause may cause the charcoal arthropathy, neurovascular theory and the neurotraumatic theory. Sympathetic denervation initially increases the peripheral blood flow leading to arteriovenous shunting that causes hyperemia and bone resorption. The vessels are dilated with increases, which increases peripheral blood flow. Acute or repetitive trauma may invite charcoal neuroarthropathy. Ulceration occurs in osseous prominences. What the real management of the charcoal arthropathy? Here we can talk about the debridement. We should have to go for osteotomy and we can go for arthrodesis and at the same time we can lengthen the tendoachylis and open reduction and elizar external fixation is a good choice for real orthopedic management of charcoal neuroarthropathy clinical manifestations we can see here there are six locations this is very important at present i am working in the diabetic hospital therefore i am getting all the time the six locations in the ankle, tarso metatarsal joint, that means least friend joint, and metatarso phalangeal joint. And we are getting a lot of cases affected by the uh, this charcot in the midfoot, in the subtalar region, and of course, the very important is the calcaneal region. And we are getting a lot of cases, especially in the least friend, in the calcaneal, and in the ankle. Now, dear friends, you can see here the locations of the ankle, Lisfranc, Nebiculo, Cuneiform, and at the same time, Sir, uh, 
So can you hear me, sir, Professor Bari, sir? Infection and talo nebigul. Asian holds. You can see here stage one, two, three, and and zero. Stage one developmental phase characterized by fragmentation of bones and cartilage, joint diffusions, subluxation, and dislocations. Of course, we can we can see the soft tissue edema, hyperemia, bone resorption, and intraarticular fractures. And in a stage two. Coalescence phase characterized by decreased soft tissue edema, healing of fractures, and organization bone fragments. And in a stage three, reconstruction phase, which is characterized by new bone formation and remodeling of bone. Shibata et al. They have another stage classified that is called stage zero. Acute phase characterized by swelling, warmth, joint instability, and normal. Radiographic anatomy of foot and ankle. Now, if you think about the uh, treatment options, we should have to go for conservative treatment options. That is the own case, total contact casting, and braces are commonly used to obtain close tissue development of the foot and envelope of the foot and ankle. Surgical reconstruction is identified when conservative uh, recurrent ulceration is present. Surgical treatment options, our aim is to restore the alignment. This is very important and the stability and at the same time to prevent amputation. Surgical treatment, we can go for acute versus gradual correction. Deformity correction can be easily done by Elizar of device. The first stage of reconstructing the charcoal food is to obtain correction and second stage to maintain the correction. So this is very important. We must obtain the correction and we must maintain the correction. Acute correction, open reduction with internal fixation was the main stay for treatment of charcoal foot deformities earlier. Large open infections were made to remove the excess bone and to reduce the fragmented or dislocated bone. The screw fixation or plantar plating was traditionally performed in an attempt to stabilize the charcoal joint. These invasive surgical procedures typically resulted in a non-anatomic correction. Although performing open reduction has disadvantages, in cases of tarso metatarsal charcoal deformity, it is also advantageous. Now, acute realignment achieved by performing a wedge resection and applying the Elizar fixator, which produces a stable foot function. Now, I would like to talk regarding the Elizar fixation in charcot. Elizar of apparatus allows for fine tuning of residual deformity correction outside the operating room. <laughs> With internal fixation, the precise plan for deformity correction must be obtained at the time of surgery and cannot be, and cannot be altered during the post-operative period. This fantastic Elizar of apparatus constructs can allow early white bearing, which can lessen the severity of the disease osteoporosis and allow for access to the soft tissue for own care. It is used for stabilization of an acute correction or for gradual correction uh, of the deformity. Now, one advantage of using an Elizar of apparatus to gradual correction, that is the technique is minimally invasive, you know that especially present with multiple previous surgeries or previous incisions. Gradual correction also allows for anatomic correction without loss of foot length or bone mass. Elizar of fixation allows for partial weight bearing and limits neurovascular compromise because the correction occurs slowly over a period of time. Now, dear friends, uh, regarding the frame constructs, static frame, that is for a charcoal Stabilization construct should include a distal tibial ring with a closed foot ring. This construct is generally used to treat patients with charcoal neuroarthropathy of the ankle or charcoal neuroarthropathy of the ankle combined with subtalar and a midfoot charcoal deformity. 
when you are doing when you are treating the charcot we we may get the complications and these are the related with the external fixation complications with the ileazar malalignment we can get we can get the ulceration and osteomyelitis although you are treating the ulceration and osteomyelitis and fixation failure and all healing problems this ileazar of external fixation complications patient with neuropathic conditions requires close monitoring and we are monitoring all the time weekly and biweekly to assess the fixation failure and pin site infection obtaining proper anatomic alignment in axial sagittal and transverse plane is very critical the severity of charcot deformities makes it challenging to obtain accurate anatomic correction failure to accurately realign the foot and the ankle can lead to recurrence of the charcot arthroneuropathy or recurrence of ulcerations now i would like to share my experiences with this charcot arthropathy in the ankle and foot let us see the case look at this diabetic foot ulcer bilateral sole of the foot list frank joint involvement 45 years of male patient you can see a dear friends the deformity of the foot rocker bottom foot and you can see the big ulcer now here the lisfranc joint is totally destroyed you can see here the dislocation and the rocker bottom foot and ulcer in the both foot patient came with this situation if you have ileazarum in your hand you can go for treatment of this kind of deformity in the lisfranc joint what i have done you can see here i have gone through a incision through here debridement and alignment of the lis frank joint with multiple kevers and olivers and at the same time i have done the here you can see the transverse ttt osteotomy to increase the circulation vascularity and this is the beauty of ileazarum with this you can treat this kind of ankle and foot uh, arthroneuropathy now during treatment you can see the right side the big ulcer is almost healed you can see here and left foot not yet treated that at that time and after treatment you can see here this is also treatment and by putting the olivers we had distracted this and as a result we are getting the new vessels arterioles venules and nerves here for healing process of the whole lip before treatment and this is dear friends you can see only after 5 months see the deformity of the foot rocker bottom was corrected and also is almost healed and now the second case 50 years old women open wound with non healing ulcer for the last you know 6 months right ankle charcot arthroneuropathy exposed bone see the color of the skin and how you can treat this kind of patient with the diabetic uh, arthroneuropathy came to my place in the hospital diabetic then done the debridement put the ileazar of apparatus and you can see sequentially this is you know granulation tissue with healing of the ulcer and then from the lateral view you can see we have done the arthrodesis of the ankle this is only after one month follow up and see the after two months follow up and this is after two months follow up of the x ray you can see arthrodesis of here and here and this is before treatment after three months you can see from this situation to this situation and this is the radiography view of the patient and this is after 5 months you can see the dear friend and how we can help with this fantastic ileazar of toad by uh, helping the patient so this is the case another you can see here 55 years old man charcot neuroarthropathy of the lis frank joint lis frank joint here i would like to show you what you have done transverse tibial technique again lengthening of the this tibial part by putting the olive wires see patient is happy 
standing with this, one ring here, one ring here, and this is a long place by putting the olive wax. One, two, three, four, five olive wax. And you should have to go for osteotomy. And after that, you can see here, destruction of the transverse bone. And after one month follow-up, and this is three months follow-up, you can see this was, there was a problem here. And after three months, you can see the Lis Frank joint here. And this is final follow-up after three months. And you can see here the color of the skin after five months. And this is before. Now you just compare this one with this one. So this is before surgery. This is the after surgery. You can see healing process here after three months follow-up. And case, another case, dear friend. Uh, in in uh, beginning, in the beginning, I told you regarding the osteomyelitis of the calcaneum. Exposed calcaneum, we see the color of the skin and it's a very bad condition, devastating condition of the foot and ankle and calcaneum. What to do? If we reserve again in your hand, you can do something. Then what I have done, you can see here. I have put the uh, Ilzarab apparatus in the calcaneum with olivers and again to increase circulation vascular in the whole limb I have done the osteotomy transverse trivial technique and pulling the uh, with olive wires by putting one ring here and putting one ring here connecting with the plates. So again what we have done you can see before treatment this is you can now compare just like after three months the whole calcaneum was healed and the uh, oh, calcaneum was uh, united and the uh, area of the skin was totally healed and discoloration of the skin is going on this is a process and i always tell my dear friends it is our fixator has a biological principles of gradual destruction which revolutionized the management of limb deformities. We can go for any kinds of limb length discrepancy, bony and joint deformities that I showed you, soft tissue contractures, bone loss, and delayed and malignance infections. In diabetic patients, most of the cases we are, get, we are getting infections. And when we are doing the transverse destruction, we are increasing circulation. 330 percent circulation, Professor Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov in 1983, 330 percent uh, circulation increases. And of course, here are atherosclerotic limbs, that means ischemic limbs, we can treat by this fantastic Lizarov. When you are treating the patients, doctor patient relationship is very important for this is a healing part of the process. See how you should have to free to the patient. And these are all stalwarts from uh, Kurgan Center. You can see here uh, big, big man from Milizarov Center, Professor Shepsov, Novikov, and then how to deal with the patient. And finally, what I've shown you, I always love to show this slide because of this, what I've shown you, this is the evidence. And on the base of science, and of course, the what we have done, this is the surgical skill of the surgeon. Technology, I always tell, is very good for machines like computers and telephones. But in human body, we need to go a step further. That is called biology. All technology have to be biologically oriented. And that can be done in Ilizarov technique by Ilizarov principles and Ilizarov philosophy. It is not always essential that a costly technique is more advantageous. And let us be the leaders in advocating biological and cost-effective technique that globe might experience, and we can do that. So this is also charcoal arthropathy in diabetes. My publications in American Journal. You can see here in 2015. You can see, and these are my books. International 93 articles and seven books. So I always convey my gratitude towards Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov and 
the man who taught us the his principles and philosophy with this i would like to conclude before that i must say the desire of we can feel any defect in the life of bone when nothing can be done by lizard of we can do a lot of things and the end of disability with the diabetic patient we can help the diabetic uh, patients also and bright future in disability uh, in the by elizar technique we can do that thank you very much for your kind attention thank you very much sir for your exceptional and excellent presentation uh, as because of you all know that uh, the chargar arthropathy of ankle and foot uh, is uh, like a graveyard uh, to an orthopedic surgeon but we can overcome this uh, disease by lizar and that is proven by professor mufakkarul bari sir now i would like to request uh, professor navik up sir to uh, share his knowledge uh, regarding the presentation of uh, professor mufakkarul bari sir professor navik up sir bari uh, thank you very much for your life for your job for your message for young doctor because just now you show excellent result with uh, difficult difficult area in our job and uh, very interesting how with the metal we can help with uh, traffic uh, problem and just now coming in as a uh, time when you absolutely right coming uh, philosophy if we have understanding natural process uh, in our tissue not only in the bone because uh, traumatologist orthopedist this is uh, bone uh, doctor but uh, you support patient with deep heavy problem uh, soft tissue uh, arthropathy vessels and elizarov effect just now start uh, new i think epoca when so many doctors in the world uh, will understand clear natural process just now you uh, show so many x rays with uh, funny osteotomy what is it dislocation of the bone is some doctor will understand this is a magic kick for uh, natural process in the all of tissue near the ulcer near the wound near the uh, poor uh, talus or calcaneus and i want to repeat again bari uh, your country is very happy because uh, doctor like you uh, show the way for many doctor how we can help this is a very deep problem not only orthopedics problem thank you because uh, just now uh, you open new page for for doctor all of the world thank you thank you very much sir thank you very much now uh, i would like to uh, request uh, uh, dr omar sir to say something regarding the presentation of uh, professor bafakarud bari sir yeah, can i can sir, i tell who is who is omar uh, he is Absolutely. my very good friend Con professor omar well known elizar surgeon from kurdistan and uh, since long i know him he is my very good friend and we are always you know exchanging views of different difficult cases he is doing all the time that's why i last time i told him we are talking every week i told him you, you can join and he accept gladly accepted that one he was in kurgan also several times so omar warabi just young gentleman from india and professor novikov you know him very good you know now you can exchange your views and next time if you wish you can talk with our uh, you can join in our uh, this orthopedic academy uh, absolutely sir long time we are doing working this okay thank you 
सर प्रोफेसर अमर सर प्लीज प्लीज अनम्यूट सर सर प्लीज कैन यू हियर मी यस यस yes okay i am totally agree with your kind conclusion but i have two things one of them is that i have good number of the cases with spina bifida causing charcot joint i treat them in the same way which you are doing but without any sort of elongation without any sort of osteotomy what about osteotomy which you are doing i are you still preserving the length of the limb or you are doing some sort like accordion procedure that's my comment I am just widening the bone, just to increase yes. circulation. T T T tibial transverse technique. If you go for yes. ten days or twelve days, then you can increase circulation, increase. As a result, your healing process of the ulcer, you know, will will will, will minimize. Yes. yes. And the discoloration of the skin. So you are keeping this destruction gap, so the limb will be a little bit longer than the other side. Are no, you no, like no, this no, or you are widening? Why do you Why didn't and you are telling you mean accordion procedure transverse by catagni by catagni this is known as accordion procedure as you know no no this and is not that. Is only widening yes. of the bone yes just widening for 1 cm you mean 1 cm or how long you can go for 10 mm 1 cm or 15 once in 10 days or 12 okay, days or 15 days depending upon your case Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your kind invitation also. Mm, thank thank you. you. Thank you very much sir. Uh, sir you have told that uh, you are not doing the uh, TTT. Uh, um, without doing the TTT uh, how you can uh, manage this uh, charcot arthropathy? If you want uh, you can present that thing in our orthopedic solution academy also. And I think uh, that will be a great thing. I am correcting the deformities so the pressure area will be changed to the normal pressure area it means it must shift it to the heel and to the head of the first and fifth metatarsals so gradually i am correcting the deformity so biomechanically as you know the heel and the head of the first and fifth metatarsal can tolerate good weight bearing that is my principle in addition to that daily dressing by normal salai so we are keeping in proper anatomical alignment we are correcting the deformity and the ulcer will be healed thank you so much okay sir okay that's great that's great now i would like to request uh, dr uh, shamsul huda sir uh, to say something we all know that uh, we name this ttt as btt that is baris tibial transverse mm -hmm. uh, technique uh, uh, please share your uh, experience no, regarding the yes sir Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Please share your uh, experience, uh, Dr. Shamsul Rudra, sir. Please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tanvir. Sir has uh, demonstrated a wonderful technique. We have been learning from him. And in charcot arthropathy, without elizero, <coughs> it's very difficult to heal. Even after multiple surgeries or his braces, it's almost impossible to heal. But as demonstrated by sir, it can be magically treated with the help of elizero. We can do all the different uh, treatments with this. So I've been I've been done just a few cases uh, following Barisas and uh, got uh, excellent results. Yeah, thank you, sir. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Shamsul Jha sir. And uh, that is the inspiration. That is why he is the legendary leader of surgeon, not mm. only in Bangladesh no, but also in the world. I am very simple man. <laughs> no, very simple man. We have to. We Legends have to. Are because, Legends are sitting behind. Umar Barabi, Novikov, they are in <laughs> Shuda. there all is i am very simple man i i i just try to do you know and really you know this is elizar of principle slow and st i always repeat all the time slow and steady traction on a living tissue creates a stress which is metabolically activated metab in biosynthetic right. and proliferative pathways depending upon the vascularity and the functional use if if you have little vascularity you can increase vascularity and if you functionally use biosynthetic and proliferate this is the principle you must keep it in your mind and that gives you lot of things and shamsuluddha rightly told you believe me i am working in the diabetic to very big in this is the very big by diabetic hospital in southeast asia very big big and lots of people suffering with diabetic you know 
everybody is cutting importing importation importation nothing importation sir most of yeah when you have elizar up you can increase circulation no need to now i am doing that and patients are happy i am getting very much satisfaction by using this that i showed you on the basis of science on the basis of this is evidence that i have shown you and this is the beauty of elizar and you can do that thank you. easily yeah. yes thank you definitely sir definitely we will follow your instruction and definitely our young fellows will uh, follow uh, your uh, btt technique uh, dear viewers uh, i would like to end up this session today uh, and uh, with this uh, program we are going to end up the 2021 programs and hope we'll come with another great elizabeth topic in the coming 2022 and i hope you you will get a fantastic uh, covid free 2022 Uh, and there is our expectation and a prayer to our almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i would like to uh, say bye bye to all of our uh, legendary academic expert and uh, our honorable viewers and hope we'll connect in the coming friday with another magical elizabeth topic till then i am dr mohammad tanvir shah saying bye bye to all of you bye bye thank you very much 2002 happy new year happy new year with butilka <laughs> You are watching Raj TV Jagorone Bangladesh please subscribe our channel